Now is the chance to use reliable energy to grow your money with the Dominion Energy Reliability Investment. Our new investment product offers competitive returns, no maintenance fees, and flexible online access to your money. Make the reliable investment in reliable energy. The Dominion Energy Reliability Investment. To find out more, go online to reliabilityinvestment.com. That's reliabilityinvestment.com. This is a podcast from Minute Media. Now we welcome in a very special guest to the program, of course, Tony Gonzalez. You might have heard of him if you followed the NFL over the last 25 years. Hall of Fame tight end with the Kansas City Chiefs and the Atlanta Falcons. And Tony, I want to welcome you to the pod and also want to get right into it. Look, I know you're working with TiVo, Stream 4K. I just wanted to get your thoughts on why you're working with TiVo and what makes this program something that people should check out. Well, you know, TiVo, <laughs> from back in the day, old school, uh, they've come out with a, a new uh, 4K streaming where the you know, best quality picture that you can get uh, out there, and it's got this great voice function where you can say, just take me to the Kansas City Chiefs game or, or take me to the Atlanta Falcon game, uh, and it'll take you right there, watch the game in high def, 4K, and then as soon as the game's over, I got four kids. I can go straight to Cinderella my, if my daughter wants to watch it or go straight to the, the latest movie by Rock, um, it, it, by The Rock, it, and it takes me right to it. And so it just makes it convenient. You get the best quality picture. And then the price is $29.99. You can get it on Amazon uh, or any other major retailer out there. So it's, uh, it's just a great way to take your, your TV viewing experience, convenience experience with, with watching your television to the next level. All right, so the season starts on Thursday. Who is your Super Bowl pick and why? <laughs> Already. Uh, well, don't tell me Kansas City, Atlanta. I, well, I won't say – I won't. I might say Kansas City, but if you don't want to pick Kansas City, but I will say this. In the NFC, I think it's a no-brainer. I, I don't see anybody beating the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The only thing that's going to stop that train is if somebody gets hurt. That's it. And obviously the season's long, so maybe that could happen. But they, I mean, have everybody coming back – uh, you got Tom Brady pulling the trigger. Uh, they got a year underneath their belt now with that offense. And you saw what it did towards the end of this, the year last year. What did they end the season with, you know, scoring over 30 points the last seven, eight games of the season, yep. including the Super Bowl. So, uh, I, and they hit on their draft picks, it looks like. Uh, so they have another defensive end coming off the edge to help Pierre. Every, I mean, let's go, it goes on and on. I know that's not the sexy pick, but I think we that dynasty is right there. Uh, and Tom's going to go get his eighth Super Bowl this year. And they'll be playing, uh, I could say, the Kansas City Chiefs, and I do think it's going to be the Kansas City Chiefs. They, they, they did what they needed to do. They went out and rebuilt that offensive line, and they, now they have a top three offensive line in the NFL. And if you give Patrick Mahomes time, Tyree Kill, and Travis Kelsey, I just don't think it, – it's, it's too much, just like they've been doing the last couple of years. But my dark horses, I love the Cleveland Browns. I love the Buffalo Bills. I think uh, Baker Mayfield will continue to get better uh, as long as he can, you know, realize that you don't have to talk as much, just go out there and play. I think he can be a great quarterback. He's surrounded by such great talent, a great offensive line. Uh, and I love what Buffalo has been doing. I think uh, they're poised to make a deep run, pick up where they left off last year. The quarterback took a major step. Now he's one of the best in the league. Um, I, I like, I like what Buffalo's opportunities are this year. If you were a player in today's game with COVID going on and the protocols and everything else, would you be pissed at guys who aren't getting vaccinated because you feel like it's a competitive disadvantage? Um, honestly, yeah. Yep. I would, you know, just, I, I'm vaccinated. So I know this is a political, uh, uh, a lot of people. It's a football lie. thing though, too. Huh? What'd you say? It's a football thing. I mean, it's, it might be political on the outside world, but I have to think in the locker rooms, it's a, hey man, don't cost me my money. Don't cost me a playoff bonus type thing. Yeah, I'd, I'd be a little bit upset by it. And I'd be like, hey, why don't you just get it? Come on, let's go. <laughs> we put a lot of other things in our bodies just to get out in the football field. Uh, I think it's safe. And yeah, I, I would I would definitely want everybody on the team to get vaccinated so we can go out there and win some football games. And and for other reasons, too. Yeah, for sure. You know, you played a long time in Kansas City. Obviously, the bulk of your Hall of Fame career was there. Now they have another tight end who's putting up historic numbers year after year after year. You watch Travis Kelsey. If you had to pick, who's who's the more dominant tight end, you or him? 
<laughs> uh, why do we always get asked this question? Especially when we're together, they ask that question. An obvious one. Yeah. Well, you know what we do when they say, who's the better tight end? And we point at each other. And, and, and that's what I think. That's, that's what I love about us <laughs> without being so arrogant. Uh, it, you know what? Travis is, is uh, he's a phenomenal football player. Um, dominant runs great routes. I think we, we brought different things to the table. Uh, you know, obviously I think what called from the position a lot more when I was there is you have to block and Travis gets the luxury of not having to block as much. Uh, especially when I had Marty Schottenheimer and Dick Vermeil, uh, you better put your big boy pads on and, and put your hand in the dirt and go block that defensive end or linebacker where he doesn't have to do that too much. Uh, the rules have changed now. So he's going to be able to put up a lot bigger, better numbers, just like all the tight ends in the league, because, you know, it, obviously they want points and defenses are kind of handcuffed at times. But I, I love Travis. I love my game. I love his game. Politically speaking, we're you two. Of course, you choose uh, or him. But, you know, confidently speaking, I like to say, hey, you know, what? I, I was I was pretty damn good. And when I got on the field, I always thought I was the best. <laughs> Listen, you could certainly make an argument that your career outside of Jerry Rice might be the most impressive any pass catcher of all time. You're talking about 14 Pro Bowls. And I'm curious, you know, your last season, 2013, your Pro Bowler, 83 catches, 885, uh, excuse me, 859 yards, eight touchdowns. Why'd you retire? I was I was just done. It ran its course. I, I was thinking about retiring three years before that. And so every year that's in the back of your mind, football is tough. And, and, the, and the amount of energy that it takes mentally and physically, it's exhausting just to get through one season. You, I know a lot of fans out there, sometimes you look at the screen and you say, well, it, it looks pretty easy. It is not. It is a mental and physical drain on yourself and your family. And it's worth it. I'm not complaining about it, but I, it just ran its course for me. Uh, and, I, and we were coming off a, a really disappointing season. Uh, with with the with the Falcons, and I didn't feel like going out there. I was I was in it just to win a Super Bowl at that point, and I didn't. I, I knew our chances. Uh, that kind of window had closed. We went to the NFC Championship the year before, and then I came back, and I think we won two games. And it was flat out rebuild type mode. And uh, you know, they did go to the Super Bowl three years later, and I, I couldn't have hung on that long. And so I just decided to hang it up. And uh, but I still get to be around football. I get to commentate, so it's uh, it's the best of both worlds for me. And last thing real quick, 10 seconds. If you had one year in your prime with Patrick Mahomes, what would your stat line have been? Woo! At my peak? At, at my peak. peak, I think I would have been up there with that, you know, 1,300 yeah, yards. I'm doing the same stuff Travis is doing, the 13, 1,400 yards. Uh, they can't touch you anymore. They can't hit you. Uh, before, they used to aim at your head. <laughs> now, <laughs> uh, before, they used to jump on your back like a capuchin spider monkey down the field. Now, they can't even touch you. So, I, I think for sure I would have put up some, some pretty uh, – some pretty nice numbers that those those 13 15 touchdowns and you know 13 1400 yards <laughs> all right tony gonzalez working with tivo 4k stream check it out for all your football needs and otherwise tony hall of famer thank you so much for joining the podcast really appreciate it uh, thanks bud appreciate it childhood is wanting a variety of different baked sweets and someone telling you no adulthood is wanting a variety of different baked sweets and being able to go right to mickey d's to get every single one you want <laughs> whenever you want get the new glazed pull apart donut and a 99 cents any sized iced coffee with pumpkin spice flavor sweet prices and participation may vary limited time only iced coffee promo available until 11 a.m ba da ba ba ba